So I found a really cool website that explains how mass-produced french fries are made, like the ones you get at fast food. There are a lot of steps involved, including blanching to remove sugar and starch, and then later coating the fries in a starchy slurry. A few reasons why they do this. The potato starch in the slurry has been modified to minimize sticking and enhance holding quality so they can stay crispy under a heat lamp for longer. The slurry contains a few different kinds of starch, so it's clear that starch is complex and takes many forms, and it's easy to understand why there might be conflicting reports about it. Another finding is that dry matter is not evenly distributed. This diagram shows how the centers of a potato are less concentrated. Some pieces might end up crispier or darker when they're fried up. So by blanching, it removes the natural dry matter and leaves you with a clean slate, where you add a perfectly controlled slurry layer for evenly colored and textured fries, which I guess is important if you're McDonald's. That sounds like a lot of work for what's supposed to be a fast food. 